County Cavan, a rural county in the province of Ulster, is a gateway to Northern Ireland and the northwest of Ireland. Known as the County of Lakes and Hills, it is characterized by its Drumlin landscape and are reputed 365 lakes, one for each day of the year. Sharing a border with Monaghan and Fermanagh to the north, Leitrim to the west, and Longford, Westmeath and Meath to the south, Cavan is a long county, 90 kilometers long in fact, and stretches to within 30 kilometers of both the east and west coasts of Ireland. The county town, Cavan Town, a bustling trading town, lies off the main N3 from Dublin towards the northwest of Ireland and is one of the county's main service and manufacturing centres. Cavan County is widely known as the Lake County and is promoted as an attractive tourist destination. The many lakes and developed waterways, together with our forest parks and rugged, beautiful countryside, are central to Cavan's tourist and leisure development. While water sports and fishing are two established attractions, there is now an ever-increasing interest in outdoor walking, orienteering, cycling, trekking and nature watching. It is an objective of the County Council to protect Cavan's natural beauty through sustainable planning policies and effective environmental protection measures, while promoting vibrant and sustainable urban and rural areas. Initiatives such as the Cavan Way Tourist Trail and the Kingfisher Cycle Trail have opened up parts of rural Cavan that until recently were off the tourism map. Cavan County Council provides and administers its services under a number of program groups. Housing and building, road transportation and safety, water services, development incentives and control, planning, environmental protection, recreation and amenity, and agriculture, education, health and welfare. Under these programs, the County Council plays a key role in providing, operating and maintaining essential infrastructure, facilitating the ongoing development of the county and the wider community. Its remit is much wider than that, however, with it now playing central roles in community and enterprise, arts and culture, and conservation and heritage. <laughs> 